the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples. So we have a wonderful, wonderful lineup here this evening for you with some really stellar musicians. I know you're going to love them. Uh, Award-winning artists to boot. And this is not the band right here. So I would like to introduce you to somebody wonderful here. We are here. This is a healing garden a fundraiser this evening. And uh, this gentleman is the founder of Patio Records and the Healing Garden Project Initiative. Uh, just quickly, he's uh, built a couple of gardens in the States, near Boston, where he lives. And he's built two in Ottawa, one in Renfrew. And he is absolutely enamored of Canadian musicians. And aren't we lucky that he loves Canadian musicians? <laughs> because here he is, all the way from Boston. I'm going to introduce him so that he can say a few words and just bring you up to date uh, so you'll learn a little bit more about the project. Please welcome Mr. Terry Egan. Thank you, Lillian. Thank you, Acoustic Harvest. Thank you for everyone that's here tonight. By being here tonight, you're doing your part to help a new garden get built or a current one, current one being maintained. You know, 30 years ago, when my wife was still sick, she asked that if, if anyone donated money, she'd like to see a patio for future patients. So that became my, my passion and mission for the rest of my days. Through Acoustic Harvest Series, we set up an event for um, McKenzie Health in Richmond Hill and a garden opened up. Now that the border's open, I can go visit it. And there was a sister hospital that opened up in Vaughan next door, and they built in the original design three gardens. So it's all because of the audiences that contribute to these happening. So while you're here enjoying an incredible night of music, of people who are really wonderfully hearted and magnificently talented, you're also doing good. And some came because of doing good, to do good. And holy moly, you're gonna have an awesome concert to listen to. So you can listen to that concert. I will invite Alison Lupton, Tony McManus, Shane Cook, and Joe Phillips, all stars in their own right, collaborating their talents to entertain us tonight. Go we'll have a thoroughly awesome night and feel good for the music you hear and for the good that you'll be doing by being here. Thank you very much. Enjoy the show. Good evening, everyone. How are you? Good to see you. Lovely, lovely to see you tonight. I'm going to get started with a song called Away. This is a song I wrote in, uh, I found out that my uncle, my great uncle was a home child and I didn't know what a home child was. It was a, a, over a, a discussion at a Christmas dinner and, uh, and I did some research and, and learned that they were children that were put into care and sent to Canada from the uh, UK um, in, uh, in the uh, early um, uh, 1900s and so on. And, and uh, <clears throat> many of them had, um, had uh, good experiences, but many did not. And that sparked this song called Away. Cold is the wind, parched is the sky, black is the sea, said the goodbyes carried away. To a new world Here on my own I labor each day In this new world Away from my home Strong is the sun Parched is the grain Steady the ache Heavy the chain in this new world Here on my own I labor each day In this new world Away from my home
printed off a bigger set list and left it at home. <laughs> so I, I know. <laughs> this is a song written by our friend Craig Worth in, from Newmarket, New Hampshire, and it's called uh, Where Were My Rising Star.
I don't know. <laughs> You know, they don't know what's on that list, so we could get away with just about anything right now. Uh, Mel's sorry. <laughs> How do you guys feel about the fiddle? <laughs> yeah? Okay, all right. I see how it is. Not so sure on that, huh? We're going to work on that right now. How do you feel about the fiddle? <laughs> We were talking about this after the, la the show last night that we, uh, we, we played in Alora. There's something about fiddlers that just need to get that warm embrace. So thank you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're going to play some fiddle tunes. The first one is a, a tune of mine, um, and I wrote it for a friend that um, uh, I met when I was, was a kid. Um, when I first started playing the fiddle, we'd go to the Forest City Maritimer Club in London, and it was a great outlet. We'd get together and jam, and, and there were all kinds of uh, wonderful musicians that had moved to London from the East Coast, and uh, one of those musicians that I met was Mel Hymers, and we kind of connected on jigs, and he also built fiddles, so uh, I kind of liked this guy, and, uh, and then uh, a few years ago, I, um, I thought I'd write a tune for his 100th birthday, Yay. and so I went to Parkwood Hospital where he was living, uh, home for veterans, and, and uh, uh, went to his room, and, and he wasn't there, and the nurse said, well, he might be down in the workshop, and so I went down, and there was Mel on his 100th birthday building yet another violin. You see why I like this guy, right? So, <laughs> so I wrote him a tune, and, uh, and then we're going to go from that into a couple more tunes from here in Ontario, a uh, tune from um, uh, John DeRocher from Sarnia, who wrote many tunes for the Don Messer show. You guys remember that show? Yeah, all right. See, you know, you are fiddle fans. I can tell. And, uh, <laughs> and then we're going to go into a tune from our friend Brian Piquel in Paris, Ontario, a tune called Sarah Dancing. Yeah.
you. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? No, it wasn't. I think so. Do you think? Should we? I was in Scotland there um, a couple of months ago and made it all the way up to Inverness and met up with a, a very special lady who taught me English. <laughs> Not from scratch. <laughs> I had a basic knowledge of the language, but <laughs> she taught me English at high school, which evidently was neither yesterday nor the day before. And she was a very special teacher at my school because she alone taught us the beauty of the Scots language. We were brought up to kind of look down on lowland Scots as if it was some kind of vulgar dereliction of the English language. And she taught us that it was a beautiful language capable of sustaining a great literature. And she taught us about the poetry of Robert Burns and much more besides. All the more remarkable because her name is Mitzi Weiss and she's from Brooklyn. Every school in the west of Scotland should have a tiny Jewish lady teaching you about the Scots language. I think that's how it should go. This is a song from Robert Burns. tuned by Dick Gochen. Now whistling winds and slaughtering guns bring autumn's pleasant weather. The moorcock springs on whirring wings among the blooming Heather. Now even grain wild o'er the plain Delights the weary farmer The moon shines bright when I rove at night To muse upon my charmer Partridge loves the fruitful fans, the clover loves the plantain, the woodcock haunts the lonely dells, the soaring and the fountain. Through lofty groves, the cushat robes. Path of man to shun it, the hazel bush o'erhangs the thrush, the spreading thorn the linen. Thus every kind their pleasure find, the savage and the tender, some social joy. Some leagues combined, some solitary wonder. Want away the cruel sway, tyrannic man's dominion. For the thorn, the fruit of thorn, and every happy creature. But Peggy Dee, the evening's clear, swift flies, the skimming swallow. The sky is blue, the fields in view, all fading green and yellow. Come, let us stray our gladsome way. And view the charms of nature, the rustling corn, 
the fruit of thorn and every happy creature. I'll grasp thy waist and fondly press where how I love thee dearly. Not vernal showers, the budding flowers, nor autumn to the farmer. So dear can be as thou to me, my fair, my lovely child. mentioned Brian Pickell uh, before. Brian's a, a, I think, a close friend of all of ours and uh, a composer of wonderful fiddle tunes and songs. Um, he wrote this first tune, Llewellyn's Waltz, for... Are you here tonight, Llewellyn? No, because we don't know who he wrote it for. We'll have to ask him. Um, <laughs> but um, the second tune uh, he wrote for a, a wonderful day in a kid's life. Um, they get to experience it once a year. And uh, that's the last day of school, of course. It's not just a wonderful day for kids, you know, Shane. <laughs> I have some teacher pals I would think would think it's a pretty awesome day, too. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have like a special happy dance that you do or? Yep, yeah. I do. It looks an awful like what Snoopy does, you know? Mm. You know that Snoopy dance? Yeah. I want to see that.
sing a song. Oh, but I'm going to let Shane tune his fiddle. <laughs> and uh, he's getting back up to getting his, his E back up there. Um, this is a song called Foreign Lander, and it's, it's, a, it's an old traditional uh, Appalachian song, I believe, um, the, that I learned from uh, uh, Tim O'Brien, a fantastic multi-instrumentalist, singer, songwriter, uh, interpreter, and all-around great guy. And, uh, yeah, and uh, I think he left a lot of, a lot of his, own, uh, his own musical ideas on this, on this uh, version of this song. But uh, here goes. from Cape Breton um, called Caledonia. It's a love song, real purdy love song. But, uh, fella that falls in love, and that's about all there is to it. It's just a love song. 
Yes, unrequited, which makes it even better. <laughs> it's like, well, Cape Breton is essentially Scotland. <laughs> and this is essentially like any other Scottish love song. Unrequited. It's right in my wheelhouse. Sad, <laughs> sad song. So there's so many unrequited love songs in Scottish music that it's astonishing we have a population at all. <laughs>
Anybody know what time it is? No, no, don't look. It's, it's, it's fiddle tune time. Uh, <clears throat> so, Allison's written a... I guess it's... If you write it on that, it's not really a fiddle tune, is it? You have a beautiful tune, whatever it is. Oh, uh, written for... Um, <laughs> The Grand River, the river that lives up to its name. Yeah. And, uh, I'm sorry? Grand River, the river that lives up to its name. Right. Yeah. The other, yes. The best bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before this gets out of hand. Uh, beautiful waltz. And, uh, and then into, um, well, it's a jig. I don't know how beautiful it is, but uh, one of mine, I think. And um, it's called The Suitcase Surprise, and then we'll finish off with a tune that uh, I learned from my dad. And uh, like a lot of fiddlers around here, um, well, really anywhere in Canada, if you play the fiddle, you play this tune. It's called The Crooked Stovepipe.
Thanks very much. We're going to take a short break, and we'll see you at the second set. Thank you. Thank you. Whew.